Welcome back everybody. Today I'd like to show you two of Lug's smaller handbag options side by side. So even though the punter has sparkles, it is still a completely smooth and wipeable bottom. Lug did not give the Allegro a wipeable bottom and neither bag have the four plastic feet. Both bags have removable straps that can be reattached to the D-rings on the sides of the bags. And while the Allegro does have a clear front and a clear back, the punter is reversible, so you have one side with quilting and one side without. At the top of the Allegro's back pocket, there is a board that goes part of the way down so that it adds a little bit of structure to the pocket and helps the pocket lay flat. The side of the punter without the quilting has an interior that is completely soft-lined, including a stretchy cargo pocket that is also soft-lined. The front of the Allegro has a turn lock, which feels like a good balance between easy to maneuver and won't spin around on you while you aren't maneuvering it. The flap itself has a lot of structure, and if I had to guess, probably makes up almost half of the bag's weight. That means it's bound to keep its shape over time, but might tip over if you have the flap open and nothing inside of the bag. With the Allegro, your cell phone pocket is a zip compartment, which is next to the main compartment underneath the flap. It is completely fleece lined. And here is another shot of the punter's fleece lined pocket so you can see them side by side. So your punter will come with one crossbody strap and your Allegro will come with a crossbody strap and a separate shoulder strap. You would connect them to the sides of the bags and the crossbody straps are adjustable. The main compartments are very similar. On one side you get two stretchy cargo pockets, but with the punter you also get a privacy pocket above the cargo pockets. On the opposite wall of the main interiors of both bags, there is one clear view pocket, but the Allegro's is going to be a bit more shallow. And as I mentioned before, the punter is reversible and Lug did put their logo on either side so that you can choose to have the quilting facing in or facing out. And the reason I refer to these as carousel alternatives is because they're very similar in size. So if you like the capacity of your carousel, but you want something that looks and functions a little bit differently, either of these other small bags might be worth considering. That's the end of this video. Let me know what you guys thought, and if you've been on the fence about either of these bags, whether or not you're still on the fence after seeing this. Thanks so much for watching. If you're addicted to Lug and you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.